Breaking Down the Law is sponsored by Battle Born Injury Lawyers. It was known as the California Wealth Tax back in February. A lawmaker introduced a bill to tax rich Californians, but it wasn't just to residents of the state. The tax would have applied to those who spend as little as 60 days there or even follow those who move out of state for up to 10 years. So that bill eventually died without a vote. But as the new legislation begins in January, a lot of people asking whether this type of bill could be introduced once again. That state, of course, is struggling for cash. Here to break down the law, attorney Matt Hoffman with Battleborn Injury Lawyers. Matt, I know this bill eventually, you know, it died. It didn't make it, but that doesn't mean it couldn't be introduced again. And there's certainly some ramifications. So let's kind of hash out what exactly it was. It's always interesting. They, they never propose spending less. It's always more taxes uh, and it's on festivals right? we air our grievances as the California tax system. But no, you're right. I, I think that, you know, anytime you see a bill can get proposed and then they see what the public reaction is to it and then they repropose it in a later session. So this is a very uh, real thing. I think in Palo Alto, the city had proposed a, a wealth tax um, as well, but that would run against the state constitution. So you have this tax. And what it is, is it's 0.4% tax on any net worth above $30 million. So it doesn't sound like that big of a tax, and it's only if you know on the amounts over $30 million. Um, but it has a lot of implications. So if you take somebody who's worth, let's say, a lot of money, $100 million, that person would have $70 million taxed at 0.4% in addition to any income taxes they paid, property taxes they paid. Well, 0.4% of 70 million is $2.8 million. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And while, uh, you know, when you just look at it, you think, well, you know, th that's people with a lot of money. Net worth doesn't mean money in the bank. You know, believe it or not, there are a lot of people with tens of millions of dollars in net worth who don't even know it. You know, take farmers in the Central Valley of California. You could have generational land that has been handed down. You you might be making you know a couple hundred thousand dollars a year as a farmer, but you might be sitting on fifty million dollars worth of land, and now all of a sudden you've got to pay this this huge tax bill, mm -hmm. and it's not like you have the cash laying around to do it. So obviously it's targeted at, at the, the super high net worth individuals and trying to get additional money from them, uh, but you know it could affect others as well. And then where the bill is just crazy is it wants to tax out-of-state residents proportional to the time spent in California, as you said, above 60 days. So I ran an example. If you were worth, let's say we had a wealthy Nevada, you're worth $100 million. You've done very well. You buy a vacation home in Southern California. Well, if you spend 90 days there, you'd be subject to this tax. And every year, you'd have to write a check to the state of California for close to $700,000. And, that, and, and that's for money you never made there. And... So that that's what really brought a lot of attention to this bill, why uh, it just kind of died on the vine as sure. it was. Well, and you see a lot of um, very wealthy Californians um, leaving the state in, in droves because of the taxes. Now, whether you know, you're jealous or wish you had that money yourself, it's kind of a moot point. The fact is, is that you have these people who are leaving, you know, Elon Musk, for example, and he would be yep. subject then potentially to paying up to 10 years in a state that he doesn't even live in anymore. Yeah, and, and I think that for that reason, I mean, this would just violate the U.S. Constitution. It wouldn't violate the California Constitution as residents, but for non-residents, you get the Commerce Clause, you get equal protection. There has to be some relationship between the tax levied and actual activity within the state. Yeah, And to, to just follow somebody and haunt them for a decade uh, it, I just don't think it would uh, satisfy constitutional muster. So constitutionally, and that's what really this comes down to, is if something like that was even proposed here, we could go back and say the U.S. Constitution perhaps would not allow that, and so it wouldn't be enacted. Yeah, exactly. But I, I think that, you know, from our perspective in Nevada, I think that if this bill is reproposed as to just residents, I think you'll see a continuation of this mass, mass exodus. Mm -hmm. People like, like like you mentioned, Elon Musk. I know Joe Rogan um, moved to Texas. He's got a huge podcast deal. And you know, when you see that, that means more jobs. It means more opportunities in our state, um, but just more chaos in California. And I think back to, I think it was about four years ago in New Jersey, 
they wanted to raise their top end tax rate and they ended up losing several hundred million dollars. And they went back and said, well, why? It was because one billionaire left. Wow. One. And they lost several hundred million dollars in revenue because of it. Ooh. So th they need to be careful. These states on they're chasing after the most mobile people in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully they come here and we treat them right. right. <laughs> well, <laughs> we certainly could use the business opportunities and expand that yes. here in Nevada. That is no doubt. Matt, thank you as always for being here. And uh, we wish you happy holidays. And we will see you as we get ready for the new year once again. <laughs> All right. Happy holidays. Take care.